inside game. Nicky Pedersen has gone to the fence and has gone to the back. Oh, he's, oh, he's gone off the bike as Johnson, who made a great start on the inside and allowed the bike to run into the first corner. Pedersen there just keeps going. He then overlocks and gets off the back of the bike. Interesting to see what Jim Lawrence does here, whether he will consider that Andre Johnson is the uh, culprit here. Johnson's in front. Pedersen is excluded. He's gone. Mickey Pedersen excluded from the restart. That is the decision. And let's hope that he's going to be there. who's gone wide as Harris takes him to the boards and oh. down the back straight Chris Harris has come through Kilderman's gone see it again Kilderman's uh, coming from the outside it's a tough first corner he gets pushed a little bit wider than possibly he wants to whoa it just runs out of room that's nasty Harris there was alongside him a little um, bit of argy bargy there as they go into the corner this is the best angle. Oh, it just oh. runs out of room. Harris is not aware that he's really there. Harris is in front of him. And uh, that's just unfortunate with Harris running wide and not being aware that there's a rider on the outside of him and cleans him up. Well, the decision is to exclude Peter Kim. Number 18, the back draw. Janowski has made the start on Pedersen. Now Kilman is trying the inside. Segar has blasted around the outside. Whoa. No room for Pedersen! see it again initially of course the inside gate working well Janowski watch Sagar there lifts violently runs very wide Peter Kilderman coming across God, that is tough that's a tough one to call as well because Kilderman could argue that he had the advantage there chops back to the inside just them in front Nicky Pedersen there just not giving oh. anything and there's a contact he throws the bike away and Nicky's then he's bike... Nicky Pedersen is sat up by the way oh that's a tough crash Bikes and bottles there, all over the place. I really don't know what Jim Lawrence is going to do here. Such a difficult call. Peter Kilderman coming across on that angle. It looks like Kilderman just cleans up Pedersen, and then it's just carnage from then on in. But the turn back from Peter Kilderman is perfectly entitled to do that. And it's... Nicky sat up, just taking some water in, which is good to see. Oh. oh my goodness. If those boys get up and walk away. Here in Horsham, which way do we go? He's made a great start there. Second place is Holder. Here comes Wolfenden up the inside. Oh, and it's very tight as Zagar tries the outside run now. This is amazing. Oh, oh, Holder's See it again. Holder there, blue hammock colour. Wolfenden charges up the inside. All on his own. Oh no, it sort of digs in and gets away from him. Maybe there's a rat appeared. I thought for a moment the bike had gone wrong. But the red wow. lights are on, but... Uh, Janowski doing it again off the inside gate. It's a super start from Matt Janowski. And now Woffenden is going to try the outside run. Woffenden has got there. And Woffenden is closing the gap on Matt Janowski. Now Woffenden is going high and wide around the outside. Matt Janowski with the lead. Woffenden is going to really push him hard here, though. Woffenden still oh. pushing. Got the drive down the back straight. Brilliant. He's found the setup. And Woffenden has just taken the lead magnificently. Well, what a ride from Woffenden to speed. Now the outside was really a sight to behold and got the better of Janowski. It was so impressive in his last ride. He had a lot of speed, but Woffenden, well, when he hits the front, very impressive. Oh, Janowski out of shape. Take on now through in second place. Oh, there you go. Janowski's down. Bites the dust. He'll be excluded. Such a shame. He had a great opportunity of making the final there. Well, there's the replay as he lands awkwardly. This is where he got in trouble initially. Yeah, he, he lifted badly in turns three and four, and that killed his momentum. Zagar pounced, and then it was almost panic stations, wasn't it, from uh, Janowski here. Comes in, overdoes it, and slips off the bike. And any chance of the final is gone. The race is awarded. Right. So Wolfenden wins it. What a ride from gets second. Yeah, it was a terrific. Green light on! And it's a great start for Kilman, but Zagar off gate three, magnificent. Now down the back straight, this will be interesting as Kilman just goes on one wheel. Oh. Wolfenden goes up the inside. Oh! Kilman's gone down the bike. Here we see it, perfect view. Yeah, Wolfenden's gone here. Yeah, Wolfenden will get excluded, unfortunately for him. What a start from Zagar. That was out of the top draw. He never made a better start. Taking his leg, has yeah. to go. 
Wolfenden, the championship leader. His luck's run out now. Green light on. Good start from Janowski. Now Wolfenden is in there in that first turn, but what about Holder and down goes Doyle's Doyle down. in the first. Actually, he may have moved fractionally early as well. Yeah, he did. He very nearly rolled there, but uh, Doyle just gets a little bit of a thump. He does actually end up falling on his own, so actually on the replay, maybe not quite as clear cut as I first thought. There is a little bit of argy-bargy there between Wolfenden and Doyle. He's unsettled. He's got his foot caught there. To be honest, I th yeah, it should be all four back there. Well, never one to uh, hold back from giving an opinion, Kelvin Tatum. Has his left foot actually caught on Wolfenden? Can't see it from that angle, but he's completely unsettled. There you can see the left leg is caught, and that uh, creates the problem for Doyle. Uh, in prospect here. Yep, and uh, going into that first turn, it's a good one for Harris. Now Hancock, oh, has gone down! They go into the first corner. Here we see it again. Harris there, Jason Doyle pushing, and he just gets squeezed there and unsettles and goes down. He's not made the start this time, that's fair to say. Doyle has got a quicker one from two. Well, the best one is the one on the inside from Harris. Harris is there. They come in there. There's not a lot of racing oh. room there. Right, the easy decision is all four, Kelvin. Yeah, that's the easy decision. There isn't too much contact, though, is there? there? That's, that's exactly what I was going to say. There isn't too much contact, and you could say that Hancock was wary that he was being squeezed, and he kind of bailed off. Mm. Well, I all fancy four, all four back. All I four and I. Third time of asking. Hancock is there. Beautiful start, and Doyle goes down now. They'll all go back. They'll all go back, yeah. Yeah, they will do. You see it again. Doyle in the blue helmet colour, just clashing there with Harris. Harris coming across. They lit, they hit quite hard, and it unsettles him, and he goes down straight away. Well, fairly easy call, I think. Riders back to the pits again. Hancock had made a great start from gate three. He's clear. But the clash between the two boys in the inside is a classic case of bunching. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for the ref. Doyle walking back to the pits. There is no exclusion light on. We just await confirmation that it is for all four riders back. Not ideal this though for the equipment and for the state of this race and finish with 10 points. Heat number We're 18 off. it is and he's made a good one, Nicky Pedersen, but so is Zegar. Zegar now he's going to hit the dirt and try and get the drive around the outside, but Pedersen hangs on. Pedersen has a lead. Look at Doyle and Zegar! Oh! Big crash! Big crash down the... Oh, they just really... Wind it on here, no room there. Nicky well, goes down, Maddie yeah. can't avoid him. His front wheel's taken away by uh, Doyle coming up the inside, Nigel. So Doyle's... Clips him there, clips in there, goes straight down. Oh. Doyle, and then Zagar's got no choice as well. It was a gr really, really tough move from Doyle. Doyle's alongside there, a little bit of contact with Zagar, but he just wipes out. And no surprise to see the exclusion light of Doyle go on. Here we go. See again, a slight nibble from Matsyanovsky off game number three, but he's got to that first turn magnificently. Now Pedersen tries to charge through. Oh! Nasty crunch. Let's see it again. What's your view then, Kel, as the referee prepares to make a decision on this? Well, it's... Janowski's there, made a smashing start from the outside. Pedersen now makes this move up the inside, and they all come together. And it's really unfortunate. There's no malice there with Janowski coming back towards Thomas H. Jonathan as Pedersen makes that forceful move. Oh. Just no room. Just no room at all. And, you know, Janowski gets flipped on his side. I, I, do you know, I'm just watch it from this angle and this see if we see. One. It's extremely difficult. Perfectly. But there is room there for Nicky Pedersen. Oh, absolutely. You can't exclude Nicky Pedersen. Janowski coming back towards Thomas H. Jonathan is the reason they come together because He's aware now he needs to close the gap. Just momentarily he does, but of course, Jonathan can't get out of the way because Pedersen's there, a racing incident. I wonder if Jonathan is the man to go here. Here he goes, on number one. Hancock's made the start, as you would have expected here. Kilman, oh, goes down goes Doyle, and the red lights will have to come on now. Oh, really, it's a... Classic first bend situation here. Just clips him there as they go in the first corner and he gets his leg taken away, unbalances, and he goes down. He'll take his time. Shouldn't think he's injured himself unless he's just caught himself slightly awkwardly. There's the contact, he goes down. Maybe his left arm or his hand is injured, but I fully expect him to be able to take his place in the rerun. Well, there's no exclusion light on. The referee is now saying all four back. He's hit yeah, the that, air fence. That's actually a heavy fall now yeah, when you see it like that, one, isn't yeah. it? So 
Well, clearly feeling the effects of that. Yep. Hancock um, and Kilderman, it's very tight between those first three as they get to the corner. Kilderman gives him a little bit of a push. He goes down, but then the speed as he goes across here, he falls there, just... Grand Prix here in Stockholm, and Everson has made a good one. Wolf the oh, left side, get the start. And Checking his knee now as well. He misses the start out of gate three, tries to go to the inside, and Janowski's back wheel clouts his front wheel and wipes him out before he even gets to the first corner. Quite an extraordinary start for the, uh, the championship leader. Well, there's no exclusion light on. It looks as though it is going to be all four riders back for the he's, restart. He's missed that quite badly, yeah, and he's he tried to... Tried to chop up the inside. tried to chop to... The Can Woffington do the business off two? He's made a good start, but so has Everton. And it's all very tight in that first turn. Now Woffington is going to try and hold the inside line. Watch out around the outside. Peter Killerman is there. Killerman, though, has to go square. There was no room there with Everton in the lead. Woffington holds second, Harris third. And now Peter Killerman will take up the challenge. Harris has got speed. Oh, just a point to back wheel of Ty Wovenden. Brilliant stuff from Everson off the inside gate. Very tight in the first corner. Wovenden there comes in the second place. Kilderman charges up the inside. Apple here. Just a little bit of contact there, and that takes the left leg away from Harris. Peter Kilderman could be excluded for that. Well, think, think it's going to go. The yeah. referee is watching this. Get the feeling the yellow helmet color is on. Yeah, Kilderman's gone. Peter underway, he got a good start for California. Medical team in action. There you go. He's he's got traction there. The bike has just literally jumped out of his hands. He's landed straight on his tailbone. Yeah. Which brings tears to your eyes. Yeah. He's, he's lucky to get away with that. He's, he's got up to his feet and he's now in the in the race safe buggy going back to the pits. Oh, wow. A beauty. Bring it on. Takes in the air. Johnson good. Oh, oh down. Here we well, go I again. hope you're right, Jason. The guys off the inside are obviously heading for the outside. Andreas has moved out. Kilderman's moved out. Oh, they've just clashed. Doyle had nowhere really to go. He's hit the fence hard. Casp Ooh, Casper Jack's gone in. I can't see anything more in that than a first bend incident. Yeah, there's... Oh, Doyle, he saw the inevitable looming. Fortunately, it was an air fence. Yeah. He got off the bike, another look, different angle. Yeah, they've just clashed on the way in. There's just, you know, sometimes there's just no... Shop. Heat 15, the starters are underway. Masters not a bad start on the inside, but it was Chris Harris that led them from Great Britain. Blue helmet colour. Now here comes the pole. Maciek Janowski in the white helmet colour on the outside. Oh. Down he goes. Looking at the replay, here we go. Chris Harris. Oh, Chris, well, yeah. Well, cert certainly ran out of room, but... Um, I don't think Chris realised how close together they actually were there because Chris Harris is not normally a rider to do that. Maciek Janowski very, very lucky to slide away. Maciek looked like he was going to go right round the outside, but Harris has straightened that bike up and got some speed on. He's closed the gap a bit, but um, six and two threes there as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to be the referee having to make that decision. I'm sure he's looking at the replays now. But... Uh, tight racing that's for sure and Troy Batchelor actually doing a great job there to to avoid what could have camera the Dane semi-final number two is underway and Kilderman he got a good start Everson in the middle of the track Wolfenden oh. down low oh Kilderman got maximum drive upstairs and shot to the race lead Kilderman knew exactly where he wanted to go. He wasn't worried where anybody was. Wolfenden's in trouble. Wolf Kilderman out front. Wolfenden's gone in wide. He's gone in on the dirt. And he just picks up there a little bit. Being that wide on the track, into the bottom of the air fence, sudden stop of the bike, over the top. Awkward crash. That When you're out that wide, it only takes a tiny loss. Underway in the final. Doyle got a good start. Oh, Huge incident on the first corner. It's now, take it away, Jason. Let's see what happens. Doyle got a flyer. He's across. He's across Hancock. Oh, they. Yeah, there's a bit of. A, oh, their bikes might have locked together.
Jason Doyle has taken a very, very nasty hit. And I would say Jason Doyle's probably suffered some, some injuries there to his right leg. Yeah, look at that replay again. You're quite right. Hancock and Doyle, yeah, they've tangled for sure. Doyle's... Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That is terrible. Yeah. That's not what you want to see. Yeah. No. Nah. That's terrible. Doyle made a flyer. Yeah, Gate having a look at the replay. Oskies, across Hancock there. Greg's gone. Uh, maybe Greg was on his way down. I'm not sure. Doyle's yeah, look at the bike.